Hi fellas, Knives back here again with a quick inbox review and today we're going to be looking at Italieri's uh, Mark 1B Typhoon. Okay, so this is the late version. So what it means by the late version is, see the canopy? Okay, that's a bubble type canopy. The early version had what we called a car door. So it had frames, okay, and a back to it down here and the door opened like a, a car door would okay so this is a uh what was it it was a replacement for the hurricane okay so they built and designed this okay as a replacement to the hurricane to make it a bit more powerful faster all metal com uh construction uh it's got the chin ray radiator kind of thing it's got the uh napier engine okay so it's the same engine that was used for the tempest Okay, but this predated the Tempest. Uh, they found that they had some problems. Okay, so back here, okay, at the tail, you can just see those strengthening plates. So they had the strengthening plates there because they found that these uh, the tail was breaking in that position, which is not very good for an aircraft. Okay. In this box, we get four uh, markings. Okay, uh, two with a red nose. Uh, one with blue nose and one with a uh, sky nose. All we have Vegas stripes, okay, and also we get some cracking box art. So, without further ado, what I'll do, put your own nail bed and we'll get cracking. So, we'll start with the instructions. And okay, this is a small, maybe a little bit bigger than A5 uh, fold out, it's not a book, okay, so it's like a leaf one uh, with a little bit of uh, information, okay, or about the uh. The typhoon uh this aircraft was mainly used for uh ground attack okay uh, it was designed as a a fighter but it, it ended up being a tank hunter okay especially during d-day and, and and stuff like that so open out we we'll start off with a uh sprue map okay so we've got uh quite a few sprues to be going on with but it's quite a quite a quick build there's not many steps to this and then we've got the color call outs so we've got them in the fs numbers plus the italiari uh conversion so from the fs you should be able to find out the num numbers you want and then we move straight on into the cockpit okay so we've got the main cockpit and the uh tubular frame the seat we decals for the uh seat belts and for the instrument panel putting it all together and then closing it all up with this back section here so this back section here we change out so they can do more than the one version and but i can't recall and having the other version the car door version we then move on to the wings and drilling out for the rockets and the rocket uh, slides wings going on Okay, then we move on to the next page. Okay, so joining the wings onto the fuselage, the tail planes going on, undercarriage going in, all the some of the dangly bits and aerials, lights, moving on to the, the rockets, then the propeller and the hub. Okay, and then we move on to the four colors so only seven parts okay so it should be a relatively quick and easy build so we've got june that june 6 at 1944 for tory island another one from 609 so we've got two from 609 squadron okay uh june 1944 we've got three what's the last one okay so we've got three from a tory island Two from 609, one from 123 Squadron on D Day 1944, and then France. So, actually, in France after D Day, uh, 247 Squadron in 1944. So, there are your four markings. So, not a lot to this build. It should be a nice, quick build over quite quickly. So, we'll move on to the plastic. Okay, so starting with the first sprue. That I've picked up so through Q and end and we have the instrument part uh, sorry instrument parts 
the uh, cockpit part, so the the floor, the tubular frame, the dashboard, okay, and side panels, the control column, the foot pedals, okay, just there. Some really nice injection pins that look like we might have to get rid of. Okay, and bear in mind that this is actually Hasegawa's plastic, okay, that uh, the Italieri have reboxed. I and mean, it's the same plastic that you get in the Eddard boxing of this as well. So I believe they will be some part of the undercarriage you've got to see. That's some nice ribbon on there. Some of the cannons, some nice recess detail on the uh, tail planes. Okay, weight on wheel, which is good. And then we have the uh, exhaust. And there's a little bit of flash on there, which we will have to deal with and get rid of. So the armoured plating, okay, for the cockpit. Okay, really nice. Touch a little bit of a. Uh, on its own. Wait, oh, just a minute. The other wheel and tailplane, so a quick exact mirror of that one. And then we have the the nose cone and the props. Okay. Nothing to write home with just yet. Two lots of the the rockets and the guides. Okay, really, really simple affair. Shouldn't have cause much of an issue. Uh, got a, a, a seam line down them, but it shouldn't take too much to get rid of. Okay, so, yeah, nice. Main wings, upper wings. Okay, so, so some, some nice recess, if not maybe a little bit too overdone. Uh, panel lines. Another exhaust stack type okay uh, that's the fillet that goes on the spine to make it uh, the different types and then we have the uh, main undercarriage legs okay so some some nice rivet detail on there uh, cannons nothing to write home about but yeah they're okay Then we have the lower wings again, same sort of recess detail in there. Uh, some nice rib detail in the wheel wells that we can fetch out with some a wash and highlighting and stuff like that. Okay, so really nice. One part of the fuselage with the uh, wheel bay covers again. So nice detail, nice detail with the uh, strengthening plates all the way around. Okay, uh, the fabric texture on the tailplane is nice. And we've got the, the grill for the chin radiator, which is looking quite cool as well. And then we've got the, the other side, uh, another part of the the wheel wells, door covers, the tail wheel, and another uh, chin radiator. Clear parts. And poly caps in that one. Okay, just pull it over there. So the clear parts look very clear, really nicely done. Uh, hardly any framework, so that might be a trouble actually uh, doing it for the masking. Okay, and then we move on to the decals. So these are designed and printed by Cosgraph. So it shouldn't really have any problems with these. So we've got the, the main round, although they are very, very shiny, as you can probably see. Uh, hardly any carrier film, okay, on there. Uh, so it shouldn't really be 
any issue with any of those. In register, nice colours and all that sort of stuff. So there we have it. There's the uh, Italieri Typhoon. Like I said, it is the Hasegawa kit. And the Hasegawa kit's at least, at least 20 years old, if not older. So it is showing its age in that respect. But it's the only one in scale, okay, uh, in 48. It's the only one in this scale, okay, uh, in 48. It's either the Hasegawa one, which you, you can't really find. This one's, you know, you can't find it that easily. And the other one, again, you can't find it that easily. So they're, they're fairly rare kits. Uh, I do believe they build up really nicely. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good, quick, easy build. So this is potentially a build to build, you know, while you're building something uh, a little bit bigger, let's say. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.